advisory. Clean tone. Visibility better than 10 miles. Temperature 2.2.1. Altimeter 3.0.2. We're running. Listen for traffic. Orange County traffic. Helicopters on the go. Midfield runway 8. Departing out to the north, northwest Orange County. Orange County traffic. Diamond 3. Number Hotel is turning a left base for only 04. Orange County traffic. Orange County traffic, Diamond 4130, Yankee, taking active runway 4 for departure to the east, Orange County. Hey folks, good morning and welcome back uh, at Orange County here, my home base. Another beautiful morning. You would think they would have uh, wireless headsets at some point, all these wires. But what a beautiful morning. Everybody is out and about um, today. Orange County, uh, three zero Yankees, upwind runway for uh, departing to the east Orange County. There's a TFR in uh, New York and New Jersey starting tonight. Um, President uh, Trump will be here. So I'm sure everybody is going to be out and about today. But it's also very easy to um, fly into TFR as long as you have the proper squat code, you file uh, VFR, and you won't have an issue. As long as ATC knows where you're at and you file, you're good. You no need to panic, but once to get involved in that mess, right? <laughs> so, but beautiful day here and winds are calm. Winds will pick up later, obviously, they usually, usually do during the day when it gets nice and warm. And, uh, but perfect day to fly, and I figured what the heck, winter is coming shortly, and soon it'll be 30 degrees in a, in a month or two. And uh, get out of the way now. But I, do, I, but I don't mind flying when it's that cold, or even colder than that, because I do have heat in the airplane, just no air conditioning. My, my air conditioner starts to work at about 4,000 feet. So everybody's busy, everybody's flying around, there are people in the pattern. Come in behind you. Sounds good. Right. So, um, I'm going to pay attention to what's going on. Also, what I'm doing, I'm going to fly to a Sky Manor, uh, what is it, November 4-0. Um, and I'm going to just, uh, you know, wash the plane. I got all the stuff in the back, got my hose and everything else, and I'm going to wash the plane over there. Let's do something different, and then I'm going to fly to Yankee, uh, uh, fly to Columbia, get some fuel. That, that's on the that's on the agenda for today. I flew last night um, at a Braden Air Park last night. It was too dark to put it the cameras on. It was really dark out. You wouldn't have seen anything really. So I decided not to video myself coming back last night. Transmit radio check. Radio check. Radio check. So that's what I'm going to do today. Orange County traffic, Diamond 3, November Hotel is turning left down with Roma 04, Orange County traffic. Alright, so we are going to do the checklist. And I'll be right back with you guys. A few minutes or so to do this. Okay. That's all taken care of. We'll pre-take off flat 15. Trim up a little bit. 
Car feeds off, mixture's full rich, props full forward, fuel pump will come on, then we'll check the, we'll check the compass out on the runway again, make sure we're all good, strokes are on, and brakes will be released when I'm ready. Pretty easy in a single engine airplane. Uh, you spend the majority of your time doing the walk around, checking the prop, uh, checking everything, make sure all the bolts are in, ailerons and uh, stabilizers, all that other fun stuff. That takes the majority of the time, but the checklist here is pretty, you can get it done in a couple minutes. Okay, let's do a system test. System test passed. All right, that's a good sign. Okay, move on to the runway here. later so everybody's texting me okay so we got somebody on short final for four we'll hold off on alpha one um, orange county automated advisory Queen one, four, we're all zero, clear ten, three. visibility better than 10 miles temperature six three two point one nine altimeter three zero one six for runway listen for traffic we're on the green we've got plenty of fuel half tanks on both uh, that's a couple hours easy there and uh, with reserve, and uh, I'm going to shoot over. Matter of fact, while I'm waiting, I will put November 40 in here. Uh, 65 nautical mile trip. Okay, so we're all set. Flap 15. We got the worst trim for takeoff. Fuel pump is coming on. He's taking off. Touch and go, looks like. Um, and we're all set. We have the anti-collision light is on, um, and landing light is on right now for departure. The strobes are on. Wait for him to depart. They need, they need one more taxiway in between the two, because if you missed that one, it's got to go all the way to the other end of the, of the airport, a runway, I should say, to hit that turnoff and taxiway. Alpha 3. Orange County traffic, it says now 172. Base, runway 4, Orange County Control. Base, plenty of time to get out of here. Cessna. Four flights, tell me 4,900 feet remaining on the runway. Orange County traffic, Cessna 172, final, so four, runway four, four. Runway four. Runway four. We're all set. Mixture's full rich, props full forward, fuel pump is already on, everything's good to go. And we're gonna put in the power slowly. And full power right rudder. 65 already. Little black pressure there. And gears coming up. One thousand feet per minute on a climb out. Traffic, uh, Mooney 8th of November is left crosswind for Orange County. The leaves are already changing. Okay, flaps coming up, five over already. And we'll pull the power back very soon. And Orange County traffic, uh, Mooney left downwind for four Orange County. All right, pull the power back. This thing just wants to climb when it's when that air ch changes, you know, to non-humidity air and uh, 
It's a little cooler in the morning right now, this time of year. This thing wants to just climb. It's, I mean, all planes climb, but this thing just wants to just climb like crazy. Okay, course heading is 223. So we'll get on that course heading, we'll get some flight following. In Orange County traffic, uh, Mooney 8, Senate members, partner pattern to the southwest, climbing through 1,800. See you later. Orange County traffic, Cessna 172, clear my way forward. Orange County traffic. Okay. A little power back, a little more. Yeah, so this whole area, you really can't see it, but this whole area is going to be a TFR tonight. Uh, which is all of New York City, part of Jersey. But it is a gorgeous day today, for sure. Alright, let's get advisories. Let's see if New York's busy. It's going to be really busy later on today, I can tell because of the TFR, because it's a beautiful day, and because uh, the leaves are starting to change a little bit. All of, all of our guys that want to be up in the air having fun. But nothing from New York yet, so we're going we're gonna to start talking. And New York, good morning. Uh, Mooney, November 6, 8, 8, 7, November, request. 6, 8, 8, November, November, was it? Uh, 6, 8, 8, 7, November, sir. Go ahead. I uh, just a part of Orange County, sir, climbing to 2,500 for 3,500, requesting flight following to Sky Manor, uh, November 4-0. I'm sorry, we're going to go to 4.5. 87 November, squawk 0312, maintain VFR. 0312 in the box for 87 November, maintain VFR. What was your type aircraft again? Uh, Mooney M20, Charlie. Eight seven remember you were hit our contact two southwest to Orange County to Stewart Altimeter three zero one eight. Three zero one eight to any altimeter, thank you. Eight seven remember. Okay. Only because it's eight seven remember uh, confirm your altitude. Please climb through two thousand eight hundred. Thanks. It's hazy, a little bit areas, um, just like usually every morning. So they're headed kind of southwest, so it is, five, Romeo Golf, it is even Good morning, plus 5. So uh, 2,500 a little low for me, going that far. And uh, can't go 35, gotta go to 45. I like flying low sometimes. It's just what's, you know, aviation is all about. General aviation, I should say. But uh, Romeo, golf, flight point, um, is, uh, as we know, altitude is our friend when we're flying. Thousand feet remaining. Everything's in the green. New York, uh, Blue Sky One, coming to twenty five hundred for five and fourteen thousand. Blue Sky One, let's do it up on this three zero one eight, maintain via five. Might hand me off to another New York controller as we get down here a little further, um, but we'll see what happens. Okay, let's start. We got about 300 feet remaining. We'll start putting the nose down a little bit, which helped me with a little bit of the trim. No reason. Uh, to really jam in the trim wheels. Nice and easy, folks. Nice and easy uh, movements in the uh, 
cables and the trim wheel, no reason to really jam it in there. All right, let's pull the power back a little more because we're moving. Romeo Golf, Austin, Austin. 22 over 24 right now. 24 and a half, 24. A little more manual pressure in. Okay. Hey, we're gonna level out right about here. We have traffic at our same altitude crossing our path right here are coming at us, so ATC other parts probably gonna start screaming soon. So, so what I'm gonna do is New York departure final keep my lane light on. Six seven seven Delta Mike is the airplane. Sixty three knots. Number eight seven nine Mike traffic one o'clock, four miles opposite direction, out to indicate four thousand five hundred. You're okay, looking for traffic, raise the number, thank you. Never fifty seventy four direct record. Told you. Three four point zero. I'm sorry. It looks like it's crossing, but not really. So we gotta keep an eye peeled. So let's trim out. He's at our same altitude. So if he's coming towards us, never fifty seventy four direct record. He really should be at three five or five five. Um, going in the uh, northeast direction. If you're via, if you're uh, via. Eight seven November. Suggest you climb five hundred feet. Okay, climbing five hundred feet. Raise the number. Seven November the traffic's one o'clock and about two and a half miles opposite direction, four thousand five hundred. Want me to climb? Jeplo sixty three. Good morning. I don't see him. A little haze here. I don't see him. I see him. I see him. In New York, uh, 8th of November, uh, aircraft and will maintain visual. 8th of November, thank you, VO Route 2, your discretion, contact approach 12015, let them know you have been saying. Is that 120.5, sir? 2015, 2015, tell them you have been saying. 2015, 8th of November, thank you. The traffic has not through 10 o'clock, you have additional traffic 2 o'clock and 3 northeast bound and getting 4,600. There he is. New York, uh, Mooney 8th November is with you at 5,000, going back down to 4.5, traffic in sight. I'm sorry, who is last? Uh, Mooney 8th of November. Uh, number 6887 November, New York, approach, altimeter 3018. 3018, 8th of November. 9, 2032, reduce speed to 180 knots, towers 18.3. Hey, that's really good. And, 9, 20, 32, towers 18, and, but there's another example, folks, that um, some guys, you know, really the ADSB, but look at all this traffic, low traffic, but minus 300, minus 400, same altitude. I have all this in information before even ATC can give it to me, so I know I can plan ahead. Uh, that's one good thing about having the ADSB. And there's a, if you, I don't know if you guys can really tell because of the camera is what they're showing you, but it's hazy up here. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely, you know, more than 10 um, visibility, but it's hazy, and so to, to have that aircraft was white, so to try to find a white aircraft that's coming, coming towards you, um, it's difficult. So if you didn't have any of this equipment, um, you know, and you're not on flight following, you're going to have an, you're going to have, you might have an issue, you know, or, or you know, stuff like that is too close for me to comfort. And I want to enjoy aviation, not worry about everybody else in the world, um, you know, that's happening. Um, obviously, you have to obviously keep scanning and worry stuff like that, but but having all this stuff at, at GA's fingertips, it's it's well worth the investment. Um, because if I was not on flight following and I didn't, you know, I didn't have the equipment, didn't have the ADSB, he didn't have it. Um, I wouldn't have seen him, and that was, you know, it was we would we would have, you know, maneuvered at some point. But I, um, it's good to know things ahead of time, and then work with ATC. 
And when he told me to climb 500, he was getting a little nervous too. Okay, so we're going to switch tanks. We are. Number 8237, two New York Pro, tell Where are we at here? Uh, 3018. Hit by Sussex. So a fuel pump's coming on. I'm going to switch tanks over to my side. Okay, looking good. The fuel pressure is coming. But yeah, you can see all this traffic. You know, towards basically the southeast for me. Um, minus 1,200, minus 200, minus 1,100. And American approach, American 1060, uh, 6,000. American 1060, near approach, then maintain 5,000. That's 5,000, American 1060. It's also a good indicator to follow the uh, VFR um, altitudes. Um, I mean, you don't have to. There's nothing that says you have to follow you know, odds plus um, odds plus fives, evens plus fives. Uh, but it's good to have that five hundred dollar, five a thousand dollar, thousand dollar, a thousand feet buffer between airplanes, um, depending on what direction you're going. But you don't have to do it. Unless I'm flying locally and I'm just kind of doing some sightseeing, I'm not going. Six eight eight seven November traffic eleven o'clock four miles northbound three thousand four hundred indicated type unknown. Okay, looking for traffic, please remember. Another one, thousand feet below. November two zero two two six. He's going one hundred five knots. Keep an eye out for him. April seventy six forty six. Continue down to four thousand. Down to four. Mid seven six four six. Meter forty eight ninety six. You're eight miles from Tup Buzz. Heading one nine or zero two thousand five hundred. Traffic ten o'clock. Two nautical miles. Thousand feet below. That's a four plate telling me. And then this will tell me if it gets even closer. April seventy six forty six. Be for traffic. Eleven o'clock. Eight miles westbound. Four thousand four hundred. Broken mid seven six four six. Number eight two three seven two. Traffic two o'clock. Seven miles southeastbound. Descending out of five for four is an Embraer. Looking three seven three. And a Mooney 8th November has traffic on site with maintain visual. 7 November, thank you. Okay. I hit another bug up here. That drives me nuts. Commander 4896, contact tower 18.3. Advocate Dick, Commander 4896. So he's the 1,000 feet below. So he's at 3,500. Going that way, which is kind of, that's where you need to be. Okay, descend uh, 3,000 and traffic is sighted at 7646. Number 82372, that traffic is uh, descending out of 4,000 as you're in sight. Thank you. 372. Chip at 244, 6,000. Chip at 1834, 6500 for 6000. American 1834, New York Approach, thanks, altimeter 3018. 3018, thanks. 2018. New York Approach, Exojet 751 is with you at 6000, we have Quebec. So you and your VFR, you got a lot of things going on when it's busy. Exojet 751, turn left direct Unville, expect the ILS 19. Left direct Unville, and look for the ILS, Exojet 751. American 1060, turn right direct Teterboro. Direct Teterboro, American uh, 1060. JetBlue 244, hitting 060, speed 210. 060, 210, speed, JetBlue 244. Exojet 751, descend to 5000. 5000, Exojet 751. American 1834 to send to 5,000. They are busy today. 5, oh, man. 
New York, Rapid 7646. Uh, uh, just wondering if we could slow. Maple 7646, 210 or greater. 210 or greater, thanks. 7646. American 1060 to set and maintain uh, 3000. Back to 3000, American 1060. New York approach, Turkey 5331, Foxtrot at 5500 feet. 5331, Foxtrot, roger. So you hear, you know, he's got a lot of commercial traffic he's dealing with, and he's plus he's trying to do flight following with people like us. So those guys, I give them a lot of credit. Um, ATC, I mean, they, they, work, they really work hard to make sure everybody's safe and are dealing with us and the jets and the airliners and everybody else going on. Jet with 244, turn right, 090. 090, 244. They don't even have window seats inside the tower. 090, speed 210. 090, speed 210. We're right, racing in a room of cubicles. Unless you're in the tower. Maple 7646, proceed to red, gimme. Kirk, gimme, Maple 7646. If any ATC people are watching, thank you. Uh, hey, three one Fox Track traffic. Appreciate all that you guys do. Converging at 5,500 feet. Descend to 5,000 immediately. It's uh, we'll descend. So we're in New Jersey. One hundred forty-two knots. No wind. We're about sixty percent power. Maple 7646, cross gimme 2500, clear to ILS 22 left. Gimme 2500, clear to ILS 22 left, Maple 7646. Exactly where we're at. Jet 244, maintain 4000. Down to 4, Jet Blue 244. 3 1 Fox Track, you going to uh, Sullivan? A firm. You proceeding direct? Still water to Huguenot, direct. Yep, 67% power. Just maintain We're probably burning about eight, eight point two gallons Lima, an hour. That's my average. Maple seven six four six maintain one eight zero knots or greater to five miles. Tower on nineteen five. One eighty or greater to five five all and uh, nineteen five. Maple seven six four six. Yeah. 244, right to 130. Stay 130, up at 244. Exojet 751, descend at 3000. 3000, Exojet 751. A VFR, Bonanza, off Caldwell, flight follow. You're unable right now. Yeah, he's busy. Approach United 700, 7000 with Victor. United 700, expect the ILS 22 left, descend to maintain 6000. 6000 for 22 left, United 700. And uh, New York, maybe 7646, just want to confirm tower frequency with you. Tower 18-3. Okay, 18-3, thanks. 7646. American 1060, 10 right. When they're, when they're busy like they are, it's like he's, he's going, 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 and going. He's, he's not going to take your request for a flight call. Yeah, keep your speed at 210, busy. American 1060. 210, American 1060. Jet Blue 244, right to 160, maintain That's 3, when all this ADSB and all this stuff comes into play. 24. American 1834, If we can't get flight following. Anyone who's there, American 1834. And, uh, 8-7 November, contact approach 128.55. 28.55, 8 November, good day. American 2883, 12015. 12015, American 2883. And approach, good morning, Mooney 8-7 November is with you at, uh, 4.5. 6887 November, I'll summary 3018. 3018, request an ESM to my destination. Yeah, you can just send this request. Just send my request. ESM number, thank you. Uh, All right. Check one echo alpha, maintain 5,000. 4,000 or 5,000, one echo alpha. That one channel that was just on before I went to uh, 28.55, they're always busy. And uh, the 20, uh, I forget what the, the last two are, but 127 uh, point, I forget what exactly it is. Uh, I could probably look it up, but they're always busy too. It must be the sector that they're in. It's just I a lot of... I want to go out and maintain 6,000 now. A lot of traffic. Up to 6,000, when I qualify. Like I was saying before, if you can't get flight following, it's good to have the ADSB. And my transponder here, folks, I, I can look up traffic, weather, um, TFRs, METARs, 
uh, all kinds of stuff, and um, it's pretty cool to have that. And that works um, in sync with the um, the 480, uh, and also it translates information to the iPad uh, via Bluetooth. Um, so it's it's pretty cool. Approach. Uh, really cool to have all this, this stuff. Uh, Seven thousand, direct Solberg. Six Norman Juliet, maintain eight thousand. Go to Eric Plusky. Okay, 8,000 direct uh, Butsky for uh, 26 November Juliet. Mm -hmm. At 12.45, uh, present heading, it's going to maintain 6,000. So we're going to probably stay with him. Uh, I'm going to go to information frequency, I'm going to go to Unicom uh, for uh, Sky Manor. Put that in standby and see what, I will monitor the channel. At 1877, 12015. 12015 at 1877. Yeah, 12.40, 15 degrees to the right actually. 15 degrees right, guys, 1240. Approach Skylane 705, Charlie Golf with you at 4000. 705, Charlie Golf, Newark Golf. There's a I 78. five Charlie Golf. Plenty of calm, Skyhawk 86 Golf, radio check, please. I'm clear. Thank you. I've never seen so many buildings and houses going up before. Skyman, traffic centurion based to find crazy. Everybody's building. Everybody's building everywhere. New homes. 124 Alpha, Allentown, 12445. 12445, 1 Alpha, good day. Good sign. That means the economy is doing very well. And I've noticed myself going to other airports, I see more airplane traffic, which is a good sign. Um, Orange County Airport is uh, was basically almost giving hangars away because uh, you know years ago it was you know everybody wasn't flying because of the economy and you know I guess. And um, right now, um, I think if there still is a waiting list for hangars, and uh, the tie downs are filling up quick, I, don't, I think there's just a couple of tie downs left too at Orange County. I twelve forty ten left zero two zero. So it's a very good sign. Zero two zero nine twelve. We need general aviation to be to be moving forward because, uh, like I said before in the other videos. Uh, Everybody starts out as a general aviation pilot. You know, at 16 years old, you're not going to go into 747. You know, you're getting into a Cessna, you're getting into uh, Cherokee, you know, 140, 180, Cessnas, 150, 152, 172. Without the ability to uh, get your training that way, um, you're not going to have a you're going to have a problem finding airline pilots in the future. 1240 approach 120.15. The military, they do a lot of drone activity. At least they never had that before. So those guys are, you know, are you know flying drones in Las Vegas, but the drones are in uh, Afghanistan and Kuwait and all those other places. Uh, they, don't, they don't really have one hands-on. So if they come out and they got to go retraining. Um, so, but we need yeah, GA pilots. GA pilots have to be around, and the airports have to be open and available. For the GA pilots, without gouging our eyeballs out with uh, hangar fees and tie down fees and gas going through the roof, because without any of that, if that's too high, we slow way down and the training slows way down, and before you know it, you're really short. Right now, we're short 3,000 pilots. So, everything um, is a ripple effect uh, with everything that goes on. Okay, so we're going to head down a little more. Number five, Charlie Golf, I maintain six thousand. Five, Charlie Golf, out of four thousand for six thousand. Got some traffic, um, 600 feet. I'm sorry, six. Yeah, 600 feet 
below. Uh, we, looks like it's crossing our path soon. I'm going to landing light on because we're, we're about traffic, 15 miles from the airport. Landing light is on. Be entering, uh, the 45 for and, we'll keep, five. and there he is right there. Have him in sight. Traffic at here is departing runway 5 for uh, westbound departure. Go Got a couple planes in the pattern over there. Um, the airport, uh, uh, JC 4147, level sea level is uh, 500 feet. Expect the so we're going to add 1,000 to that. that. So traffic pattern is going to be, we'll raise it to 1,600. November 0, Julius Sierra, turn right 010. Right turn 010, 450 Julius Sierra. And New York 8th November, we can cancel advisory, sir. 87 November, squawk VFR, frequency change, approve, good day. Squawk VFR, frequency change, approve, good day, thank you. Sky Manor traffic, Cessna Cardinal 946, turning 45 to the left downwind runway 25. Sky Manor traffic. 25. And Sky Manor traffic, uh, Mooney 8th November is 12 miles out uh, to the northeast, being bound for uh, 25. Yeah, Dennis, I got you. So this is okay, saying yeah, there's, a, the there's a plane at our altitude right. to our 230-ish descending. With the arrows pointing down, it means it's descending. And there he is. Sky Matter traffic, Cessna Cardinal 946, centering left downwind runway 25, Sky Matter. And Dallas on traffic 152, 3000 feet over Nakamix from Dallas on. traffic I have that, 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 I, that I know it's out there is a guy behind me and people in front of me here in the pattern um, but keep your eyes peeled for the guys who don't have the ADSB um, or don't, don't have any electrical system at all. Sky uh, Matter traffic, Cessna Cardinal 946. This airspace, you don't, you don't need to have a radio, you don't need to have a transponder and so the Cubs uh, who don't have any electronics in their airplane, um, you got to watch out for all them. Typically, the people I know who have those airplanes do have electric, which they kind of hurt themselves. Now they have to get ADSB. Technically, I guess whatever the, whatever that's all about. Fuel pump is off for now. We are about seven miles out. Skymanner traffic says the Cardinal 946 final runway 25. Skymanner. Skymanner traffic. We're seven miles out now uh, to the uh, northeast. Uh, we're going to be uh, coming on our 45 ribbon field left downwind for 25. Skymanner. Okay, we're, we're about six miles, six and a half. Uh, we are almost at traffic pattern altitude. A little high, we'll stay right here for now. This airport, sometimes I struggle finding it. So I will. Skymanner traffic, Cessna Cardinal 946, clear of runway 25, taxiing to the ramp, Skymanner. Doyle's down traffic, Skyhawk 92789 is departing runway 5, close traffic, Doyle's down. I'm sorry, there's 78 below us now, I'm not back there, I'm sorry, there's 78, that was 80. There's 78, I-78. Alexandria, Twin Cessna departing 26. Air, there's the, oh man, I always think these fields are the airport when I see these barns look like hangars and are not, they're just barns. Oh boy, let's see, let's find this airport. Should be at our one o'clock somewhere. We'll go out, 
towards uh, the south and come right around to the midfield left now in for a 45. I could go straight in because I don't hear anybody in the pattern, but because it's so busy here and a lot of planes that don't have that equipment, our radios do fly in here a lot on a Sunday because Sky Manor is always packed. The restaurant, go check it out. Oh, there's the airport's in sight because it's really, really cool. So I like to always go into a pattern here at uh, Sky Manor. Hey, Doug, I'm drive shine. Back here. Okay. okay. Pixers pull rich to probably come in shortly. That's climbing kind of traffic. I mean, he's three miles up, is three miles out now to the uh, north. He'll be swinging around for the 45 midfield left that wind for runway two five um, two thousand currently. Climbing. Okay, looking good. Looking good. What time is it? Oh. Okay. So let's slow her down a little bit more, and we're going to get into gear speed, which is 125 miles per hour. If you look up, this, this plane has miles per hour gauge and knots. But, the, but miles per hour is bigger. I usually, I usually go off that. Airport's in sight. Still in sight. Wow, I'm getting good at this. Okay, get that manifold pressure down a little bit at a time, cool off that engine. Got plenty of fuel, we're on the fullest tank, still at about even. We'll stick on the left tank. Traffic moving at one mile 45 midfield left downwind for number uh, two five. Center. This is where I'll lose it right in the tree lines. Okay, power back. And the ramp is packed. Oh boy. Alrighty, gear speed, gear's coming down. And Sky Manor traffic, he's midfield left downwind for 2-5, Sky Manor. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop. Flaps are in. Telephone traffic, uh, 152, 3,000 feet uh, west of the lake. Uh, and Sky Manor traffic, but he's left base now for 2-5, Sky Manor. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, flaps for full speed. I'm in a traffic, but he's turning final for 2-5, full stop, Sky Manor. Sky Manor traffic, but he's short final, 2-5, full stop, Sky Manor. Okay, everything looks in the green, we got the fuel pump is on. Gas undercarriage mixer, we'll watch our speed, seat belts are fastened. 85. Way over red. Perfect. Slope, guy slope here. Down the 80. And 80 miles an hour. Five. 
probably squirrely right around there. Alright, that was perfect. RP going in. Open that door. Perfect. So here we are, Sky Manor, folks. That's Sky Manor traffic. We need clear. 2-5, Sky Manor. Okay, so we're at Sky Manor. I'm going to watch the plane, maybe grab something to eat, telling how busy this place is, and they have tents set up, so we're probably doing something today. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, so, see you on the guys on the way back to see what I'm doing. If you like what I'm doing, folks, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. Um, and you can follow me on Facebook at Pilot Fund 101. I put some stuff on there, some what I'm doing for the day or whatever else I'm doing, some pictures if I don't have the video going. Um, and also, if you have any questions at all, folks, pilotfun101 at gmail.com is my email. And no question is a stupid question. Well, like always, folks, fly safe, be safe. Until next time, see ya. And it's packed.